can now long click actions to bring up a multi-select menu on the new tasker UI. For example, if you long click this, you'll see that these checkbox appear and they allow you to select all uh, each action separately and then apply one of these actions to them. This allows you to delete all the actions that are selected, this allows you to clone them, and this allows you to toggle them on and off. So if you do this, they all turn on. If you do this, they all turn off. You can clone them. As you can see, both actions were selected, so two new actions were created. You can delete them like this. And you can select them all. For example, if I clone this, select them all, clone this again, you can see that I can very easily select all of the tasks and do something with it. For example, I can select all of them except these two and delete them all again. Now this works even if you have multiple editors. So if I go down here, UI Tuner and add an editor like this, I now have two editors. I can select multiple actions in different editors. For example, if I select this one and then select this one, I can set them both, use them both with the menu up here. So for example, I can clone them both or disable them both and this could be useful. So for example, if I have a very long task like this, for example, with these many actions, I could select an action here and at the same time in another edi editor select an action down here and toggle them both. As you can see, well, I could clone the, all of this so just that it's uh, more useful and then if I select action 28 down here and action 3 up here, as you can see both of these actions are selected and then I can toggle them both or delete them both, whatever I want. And you can do it multiple editors. So if I have four editors, I can do the same on all four. And delete. So now let's select all of the actions except this one and this one, and delete them all. Now let's put this back to one editor and make this green big again. So now I can also show you the UI tuner, the UI tuner new option, which is border radius. And if I change this, as you can see, all of the curves here are now not curves anymore. So if you don't like curves, you could use this and everything will be not curved like this. Um, finally, I wanted to show you these two actions, which are, which are just examples of what's to come. But for example, the perform task action when you go to select the task you want to perform, you now get the full list of your tasks. And I'll add a, a find a search bar here at the bottom later. But instead of having to type your task, you can now simply select the task. It'll be selected here. And then it'll be shown here. The same thing for widgets. If you select the widget, you get a list of your widgets. And then when you update one of them, for example, if you change the icon of the new UI test one to this, and I'll run this, you can see that the new UI test one was changed. And you can even use any icon and not just local icons or files. You can use any icon so this URL will work. And then if you run if you run this, 
you'll see that this icon of this little dog was set. And if you edit this, you can even see the icon there. So these are the, some of the new features in the new Tasker UI. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.